In this demonstration of the DataWalk Integrated Data Hub, we'll show how disparate data sources can be quickly integrated, how the flexible logical data model can easily be modified, how distant data can be connected, and how the system can be easily queried without SQL or programming. We log into the DataWalk application, where the first thing we see is the DataWalk Universe Viewer, which is a visual representation of all the data in the system. This data model is built using business terms and is easily customized for each deployment often in just a couple days. The structure is built as users want, not how sources are organized. In this case, we're using fictitious banking data, where each icon represents a data set that was generated from one or more data sources within the bank. This is a small data set of about 70 million records, though the system can easily scale to many billions of records. Our data here consists of sets such as accounts, transactions, which is a data set that was actually combined from many different transaction systems in the bank, customers, session logs, and server logs. At any time, you of course can view underlying data. In this case, we want to see if there are any suspicious IP addresses associated with unauthorized online transactions on customer accounts. We start by adding an additional data source, which is an Excel spreadsheet of accounts where customers have reported unauthorized transactions on their accounts. We simply drag the Excel file onto the canvas, and the system will automatically detect the columns in their formats, and will create a data set into which additional data can be automatically ingested. The system will also automatically create a drop folder where additional data can be added to this set, and you can redirect your ETL tools, Kafka messages, and Flume flows to this drop area to quickly add additional data. This process of setting up the structure takes a few seconds, and we see that this data set has 943 records. We take a quick look at this data set in DataWalk, and we see the same column names and data as we previously saw in Excel. We will note here that although this particular new source was an Excel sheet, data can similarly be imported and updated as frequently as desired from databases. We can select an icon to make this data set a bit more visually oriented. And now we want to connect this data set to other data. The system will suggest possible connections, which in this case are quite simple. And we use one of these suggestions and we give a name to this connection. With this, we have now built a custom view of the data model which is visible only to this user. If desired, this connection can then be made available to all other users of the system at a later time. Note that this simple process reflects how the entire data model is generated. In practice, it takes a couple days to iterate through various options until an optimal model is generated, but at any time during or after this process, the model can easily be changed without interrupting system operation. At any time on the Universe Viewer, we can set a set as our viewpoint and then easily see connections to other sets. In this case, we had 943 accounts reporting suspicious activity, and we have connected these to the corresponding 943 accounts in our accounts data set. We next select accounts as our viewpoint, and from there we see around 123,000 transactions associated with these accounts. We would like to first check the largest customers impacted, so we filter the top 20% of accounts with the largest balance. Then we want to check the average number of transactions for each of these accounts, and we can do this by using a calculated column. And now we see that the average number of transactions for these accounts is 119. There are two connections between the accounts and transaction data sets. In this case, we are interested in outgoing transfers, so we will disable transactions where these accounts were the beneficiaries, and we will add a filter indicating we want to view only the accounts where there are more than 119 such transactions. And now we see the number of transactions consistent with these criteria. Just as we can filter connections, we can also easily filter data sets. In this case, we will filter transactions by date range, and we see there are almost 5,000 transactions consistent with these criteria. We will note here that we've shown how easy it is to create connections, filter connections, and filter sets such that non-technical users can easily ask and answer any desired question. Next, we connect these transactions as session logs, and we see that we have set up a more advanced set of conditions to specify this connection. And finally, we have set up a sophisticated connection between session logs and server logs where the session ID is included in the URL. Such a connection is essentially impractical with a SQL query, but in DataWalk, this connection can be easily specified and executed. With this, we see that there are around 5,000 log entries, and of course, we can easily view these logs. So at this point, we have connected distant data sets that are quite difficult to connect using conventional means. We have connected all online sessions related to transactions from the last two months 
that were done by customers who have done more than 119 transactions during that period and who have reported suspicious transactions out of their accounts. This capability to connect and analyze distant data sources is a key capability of DataWalk. Note that at any time, various other analyses are available with DataWalk's integrated analytics tools, including pivots, graph analysis, and flows analysis, and any of these can be done without further data movement. For example, we can review a report we previously saved, which is a pivot of the number of logs by day for these accounts. This can be presented as a chart where we easily see anomalies. Immediately, we see three significant peaks on August 17th, August 25th, and September 1st. We drill down on one of these, and we see six suspicious IP addresses. Now we are able to easily create a blacklist on the Universe Viewer with these IP addresses, which in effect is instantly creating a data mart. If desired, we can also easily set an alert to provide notification if this condition is hit again. With this, we have connected accounts reporting unauthorized transactions with a set of suspicious IP addresses. With this, we have shown that with DataWalk, many data sources can easily be connected. Connections between distant data sources can be identified via connection types ranging from simple to highly sophisticated. A data model can easily be generated and modified. And non-technical users can instantly ask and answer any desired question.